back here with Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson, the stars of the Banshees of Inna Sharon. Well, I want to talk about the other character, Come on, which is Inna Sharon, which is a character that the place is, which is it's an imaginary island, doesn't actually exist, but it's we shot in the Aran Islands, wasn't it? Yeah. We shot it on Inishmoor, which is the biggest of the Aran Islands, and Ackle Island, which is further up the coast in Mayo. And uh, Had I you think... guys ever lived out in that sort of remote area before? You're both from Dublin, though. Both from Dublin, yeah. He has a place out, out west. I, I go out west a lot. I, I, I find it's kind of lifeblood, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd been on Inishmoor before, um, and Ackle, not so much. I had been in Ackle, but I hadn't seen it because it was always mist and rain and stuff like that when I had arrived there. But just to, when I saw it was jaw dropping to come out and see the actual physical locations we were going. So beautiful. You know, and we were just laughing about it earlier. I, I, when Martin put the pub on a place that is on the edge of the world, and my only reaction was congratulations. It was like, he, he did when he saw the set the first day. It was very, it was lovely. He went up to Martin and sincere as end. No humor. He said, ah, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and it seemed so fitting because it was like the balls of Martin and the production designer to put this pub, build this pub that's no longer there on this bluff next stop, 20 feet away from the front door was the Atlantic and a drop off and cliffs and waves that were coming in constantly just outside the pub door, these waves crashing down. And it was like, honestly, it was like the waves in the ocean were representative of the inner turmoil that the people of the community felt. Because a lot of this film's about suppression yeah, as well, yeah, isn't it? It's about the stuff that's, that's kept down and not spoken about. Yeah, and to be, and to, like, he shot it incredibly cinematically so that it had, it was epic in nature. And so everything was at the extreme. The beauty and the place was extreme. Um, and so the heart then that appeared to be a small heart in a small story is, is, is elevated in yeah. the ways. And he was, that, he was literally pushing everything to the edge and we nearly fell off at one stage because it was a storm and we thought we could do, okay, we could do the inside <laughs> in the pub. And, but Gerald, the lights were blowing halfway across the Atlantic. It's like it was impossible. You couldn't hear anything because the rain was coming down. But we got magnificent weather, so somebody was smiling at us. It was us. Magic Man 3. And it was like, uh, it was like Greek islands that summer. It was unheard of the weather we had. Couldn't have found rain. If we were waiting for rain, we'd still be there. Honest to God, it was yeah, unbelievable. I know, that was one, it was one unbelievable. day. We, yeah. It was like Mykonos. The sunsets were indigo and amber, and it was just magnificent. But the people of, of particularly the first island that we were there for six or seven weeks, the people of Inishmore, there's 750 population year round, you know, and they just welcomed us into their lives yeah. daily, and it was it was just so beautiful. And the same was was with Ackle. The people were amazing, and it was one of the one of the res the only reservations I had was that because Inish Sharon is is not an island, it is a mythical island. It's a mythical context that mm -hmm. that that the that the people of the islands we were on would in any way feel that this was that we were trying to make some comment on the way they were because nothing could have been further from the, from the way it was we just most beautiful people where a communal spirit and and all that kind of stuff was every day and yeah. we'd see each other passing on the road it was Later we'd see each other passing on the road hey Brendan hey Colin keep going <laughs> on the weekends it was great man yeah I want to talk about one other character, and that is this donkey. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, your donkey. Is that the character's name, or is that the actor donkey's one name? One and the same. She, well, I don't know, I couldn't separate the two at a certain point. I mean, her yes. performance was so on, you know. And this is this is your dear friend. This is well, your, we this were your friends. companion yeah, in the movie. In the movie, and we had actually yes. had a good friendship off camera as well, up until a point. <laughs> up until a point? What point? <laughs> and, uh, and then, and then it just, you know, kind of fell apart about two thirds of the way through the film. Didn't she start it all? You know, she was all. Well, it turned out she needed, she did need a little bit of space. <laughs> yeah, and there was no diva on the island, and obviously Jenny f thought she'd fill that gap. <laughs> a little bit. Man, my left, my left knee can attest. <laughs> did she kick you? She did. There's a lot of animals in the, in the film. She kicked me. His dog bit me. <laughs> There's a horse in the film that yeah. tried to reverse me on the cart into the <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Fact. The I the, I, I the, the U and I put you, the E in very quickly exactly there. Right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm very curious. You're welcome. I'm very curious whether CBS is going yeah. to I believe. think that's all right. I think, <laughs> I think we're all right. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> Lovely to have you. Uh, Thank you so much for being here. Investment. The Banshees of Inna Sharon is in theaters next Friday. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Paul Mercurio.